we're going to grow out a very simple stained glass mosaic. This happens to be a garden paver. And I just want to go over a couple quick things about grout. First, you really want to be respectful of how dangerous it can be. You shouldn't be breathing it. It's got silicate in it, Portland cement. It's really recommended by the manufacturer that you wear a mask, an N95 mask in, in particular. So some practical considerations about grout. Remember, it's a cement-based product, so it can never go down your drain. Cement gets harder underwater. There's two possible grout colors in my mind that I have in my stock that I might want to try. Maybe a dark brown, maybe more of a bone color. The brown, much more dramatic, kind of a sexy color, it's going to not fracture the brown leaf as much. Does that bother me? I don't know. I think in this case I'm going to go with the darker one. Good idea to wear some gloves. And I have put into a simple bowl and I like containers that don't have hard corners because it makes it really easy then to mix the grout. I'm going to put a little well in my bowl, pour a little water, and mix this down to about the consistency of brownie mix. This is just about perfect. If this were a little drier, I would take a squirt bottle, just a drop. It's a great way to control how much water you have going into your mixture. It's really important that you follow the manufacturer's direction for mixing your grout. Paste. Grout does not have any adhesive properties. The exception to that rule is epoxy grout, another video for another day. I've waited my slaking period. I'm going to give it another stir. And now I'm ready to spread this onto my stained glass paper. Some folks like to use these grout squeegees to get the grout on. Another option which I use, because I can, is I also like to use these sponges. And the reason I like those in a way better is that I can do this kind of swirling motion and really be driving the grout into all the interstitials. So I'm going to cover the entire thing. So people often want to know, well gee, am I going to damage the glass by putting the grout on it? And actually the sand in the grout helps clean stained glass. So glass products really benefit from having grout put on them. I'm just going to keep working my way around. We've covered the entire piece with grout. Now it's a good idea just to go with your gloved hand, kind of get any extra off, because that's going to help this cure out a little more quickly. When you're cleaning your glass off, just something to be aware of is that different manufacturers, the glass is actually subtly different in thicknesses, and you want to be careful that you don't cut your hand. Or We've been waiting for the grout to dry back to powder, and we're just about there. So what I'm going to do, which is a little unconventional, is I'm not going to reintroduce any water to this until I absolutely have to. So I'm going to take dry paper towels, and I really like to use industrial strength paper towels because there's no lint. And I'm just going to start taking off that layer of grout. A big mistake people make with grouting is taking it off too soon. This piece grouted up beautifully. The glass is nice and smooth. There was no ripples in it. And it shines up with really just one quick wipe of a paper towel. I'm going to go ahead with just an ever so slightly damp sponge just to get off the sand residue that's, that might be a little bit high. It's kind of a nice way to finish it. And that's going to create a little bit of a run with the water. We're going to let that dry off, go back to its chalk. I'm going to give it one more buff with a with a t-shirt, a low lint kind of fabric, and uh, we're done. I'm really pleased with this piece, and I want to thank you for joining me. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.